I normally recommend Nocturne. Goal is to climb, right? Nocturne's the goal. Easy pick. Teaches you jungle basics when you're new, like you are. And uh, he's just one of my favorites for... What the fuck is that Cassidin splash? Is that real? That's a Cassidin? Holy sh... All right, Conqueror, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand, then go into the Red Tree. Go uh, Eyeball Collection, Ultimate Hunter, and Attack Speed, and you're good. Okay, so uh, hold tap. So it's Holy Bear. So what you do is you go upriver, upriver real quick towards the Pixel Brush. Carefully, if you bump into anybody, oh, go to No, 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 above you, above you, above you, above you, above oh, you, above oh. you. You're going the right way. Okay. Now just, uh, in this bush, just press B right here. As you're about to finish your back, just kind of throw the ward out in the river there above you. Okay. Not that far. Not that far. That right there. Because you were going to cancel your back if you did it that way. Grab a trinket. Red trinket. Hurry. Are we just protecting our... No, you're starting red. Ward or the, oh, okay. Yeah, you want to know. Go ahead yeah, and yeah. Uh, <laughs> cue, cue this. So the idea is, it's just, it's just to use the ward since you're not going to use it anyways, right? Listen, you, listen to me. Listen, listen, listen. You, you're consuming this content for free. You're being a peeping Timo. I'm going to need you to sub to the channel right now. Now, camera to mid. Uh, you got a gank coming. Yeah, get over there. Now, it's simple. If you land Q, you just E. I'd fight him. Q, then E. Yeah, walk up calmly and then E him. Then W, W, it'll help. Then get ready to Q again. Uh, don't go into tower though. You're going crazy. Yeah. Now let's go to Scuttle below you. I don't think he grabbed Scuttle. He might have, but I don't I don't know if he did. Okay, press B. That's fine. Press B. I did some damage. Mm-hmm. I don't have that much experience with Nocturne, so. He's very good. Is... Get a pickaxe. You're going uh stride breaker. So just type stride in the thing. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Uh pickaxe. Got it. Oh, let's roll. Q. So you're queuing for move speed. speed. Gives you move speed. Put it in a straight it. line. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. okay. You're new. It's fine. I understand the reasoning. You keep if spamming I it though. The reasoning, keep spamming it though. Keep spamming okay. it. Okay. Did you have blue buff? It means you can just dump it. Ah, I see. Now, Malphite's fighting top. I want to look and see what happened. Okay, so that's a very important note there that he just flashed and the wave stuck where it is. Yeah. So okay. cue this and smite it so we can keep it moving. All right, let's roll. Go up river towards their golems because Volibear is at bottom. Actually, go to his chickens. Go to his chickens to your right. Now, they're all bottom. So, Volibear just flashed. That's good that you got that info. So, now you know that he doesn't flash until 11 minutes. Holy flash. Teemo flash. So, take his chickens. All right. Now, take his red because his red spawning. Now, you've got the timer of his chickens at least. So, take red and then move towards golems after we clear red. Okay. I'd recommend using this plant on your left to get to red or to golems okay. because he won't be able to use it. Ulting on Nocturne is really easy. You just put your mouse over the ult to make sure you're in range first. So start sliding over. You don't have to clear everyone. Start sliding over because he's fighting. Move your camera. Move your camera. Move your camera. Okay. Yeah. Like now you can farm it. The thing is, I if see. they're fighting, you don't have to take the, the full oh, yeah, thing. Yeah, I don't have to finish. Now get in this bush and press B. So Volibear just went to his chickens and you saw that. That means he didn't go into your bot side. It means your entire bot side's up. He's going to go probably to your camps next. So buy a uh, whip and then buy boots and then buy towards the stride breaker and let's roll. Yeah, one more long sword. You have the money. You have the money. It just came up. All right, let's oh, keep it moving. Beautiful. So use your Q. All right, so I'm looking at bottom as we're moving to golems is how I play. Okay, Kasten is going there. Keep your camera on the action. Now, as you get closer, hover your ult. So if you get in range, you're going to fucking... Yeah, we're going. So basically, we're going to walk at them. Just walk at them. And then ult uh, Kaiser right now. Just to spam it. Spam it. Q. There you go. Now push with whip and everything. Oh, there you go. You can fight. Yeah. Nice. Good find. Now, uh, let's push this next wave. Push the next wave first. Yeah, yeah. Up shove. Up get it under tower. She has no mana. 
I queue the whole thing. I have no mana either. It's fine. Auto the cannon then. I thought you had just enough mana, but I guess not. Sweet. Now, if it were me, I would go to drag and probably start doing it. Let's just ping it a bunch. Actually, I don't know if we could do drag because Volley's there, but smite this uh, scuttle first to start. Oh, take that plant and you can definitely do it. Yeah. Now take the scuttle before we start drag so we have an exit plan. It's a little risky. Yeah. Uh, watch the, yeah, watch your mini map. Watch your mini map closely. That's as we, insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you're watching. So it looks like they're giving it to us, which is cool. After we do this, we're going to go to a golem. Or, yeah, to golems. Go down in the round. Down in the okay. round. Yeah. And then you're just full clearing again. Roger that. Now your your goal in life is to clear as fast as humanly possible. You, the game is basically yours to carry. It's just a matter of how fast you farm. Okay, so Voli shows bottom, so I run straight at his chickens next. Oh, okay, after we right. clear this one. I'm real big on counter jungling once we know where they're at. Okay. So go to his chickens now. Just right click them. Don't overthink this. Yes. Because players will like start clicking all over fucking Narnia and then ruin yeah, the play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you just get there. You should use your Q and transition here. Oh, okay. To get us yeah, there faster. Yeah, I'm kind of just watching the map. Now auto the big chicken. Was... Use whip. It's the same thing as before. You're going to be clearing his jungle. You can leave a small chicken, but Nocturne kind of fucks you with that. Now move, 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 move. Aw. You could have left a small chicken and that fucks his camps. So the same thing, now you're next to Teemo and he's off of his tower. So I'm very tempted to try to get his flash or stress him out. Okay, flash. Oh, well, actually you can fight. Cue him, cue him in red smite. Okay, no, no, that's good. This goes, good. leave. Flash over the wall. I have to flash. Yeah, yeah. And then spam your Q. Use your refill as well. Just spam your Q to run. There you go, good. He shouldn't be able to catch you. I can now once he gives up, once health. he gives up, go to your left. Go to your left, 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 left. Keep running, Q, Q, you need to Q away. Get to your tower. Oh, okay. Gotta okay, get to my tower. Now you're fine. They're not on you. Now farm the scrump. Farm the scrump. They're not on you. You're failing the juggling act here. Like, just watch them as you move, bro. I see. I see. They're not on you. Then we're farming. Now move your camera up there because we might be missing. No, we're not going to end for it. Now go to blue quickly. Cue it. Yeah, that's good that you're watching. If this guy hits this plant above us and shows up, we're just going to leave. There you go. You could look for it. Yes. Uh, yeah. Move up, move your camera up there. I just right click on him. Okay, he's dead. Now just press B. You have so much gold. Just press B. Q out. Beautiful. Just start boss side again. Yep. Now you can start loosening up. So what I start doing is since we're fed, I start going to like chickens this time because so I could be closer to the action when it happens. Makes so sense. our farming is kind of like I want to farm, but I'm now starting to like lean on ults more. Okay. So if I see Cassidy and get like binded or use his R because he's really mobile, he's hard to gank. So if yeah. I see him use like his R uh, aggressively, I will probably just ult him right away and then QE him to fear. Now follow him. Just follow. No, no, no. Not like that. Like shadow him the other way. Oh, uh, okay. Below Dragon Pit. I see. Think about it. Hover your ult, dude. We need, we need a strategy IQ here. Like hit this plant below you. Now hover your ult. You don't have to show him that you're following him. You just have uh, to be in range of the ult, dude. If he ults that wave, it might be... Okay, clear that. Okay, go clear mid. If he wants to fight, we can win. Even though he's a couple levels ahead, we win. If he jumps on you, QE and you beat his ass. Yeah, just try to encourage him to jump on you. Okay, don't waste your Q though, because that's going to okay. be how we kill him. All right, okay. now go to wolves. So if you notice, everything's kind of like just, on a swivel. We're just kind of, we're just kind of farming and watching, farming and watching. Now, if you ult him, he's just going to R away. So I would not, I would just walk up and Q him. And if you hit him with the Q, you might be able to ult him. Ult him, 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 E, E, E. That's good, that's good, let it go, that's good. You got his flash. Now, uh, back away. Remember that you have Stride Breaker and you have Q. There you go. Now go to Gromp. Let's go to Gromp. So the idea of why you're ulting him is because he just used his Rift Walk in front of you and you have your Q on him. So it's just okay. a layering thing. Like since okay. he used all that, you know that if you hit him with your ult, he's going to get feared and you can kill him. That's why he flashed right away because he was scared.
<laughs> These guys have been doing a really good job of not making me want to ult. Like, you can tell I'm not having you ult very much because they just yeah, aren't yeah. in a bad position a lot of the time. They're kind of... Yeah, out. like, Kassadin's hard to gank. He's one of the harder ones because you have to do it when he uses abilities in front of you. Um, and he's just not doing that. Let's go to Chickens next. Okay, they're fighting up top, so I'd move my camera up there. So, Malphite flashed. He must have. Grab the chickens. Grab the chickens. Oh, grab the chickens. Yep, you're always on a swivel, bro. The game plan never changes. You're farming as fast as you can while looking around. That's what this is. Now let's move towards mid. Save our team from Cassidan. Okay, never mind. We're good. And then we go to Wolves. And then same thing is we're going to probably look for that Teemo. Yep. Kite up. Use your whip. Like all this is lagging. We're lagging. I want to get up there. I want my kills. Yep. Move straight at him and see if he keeps pushing. Cover your ult. I go as soon as the ult's in range. Spam it. Q, E, everything. See? Easy wins. Now, we're going to go to Gromp next, below you. Straight down. Gromp, blue, and then we'll go from there. Now, your ult cooldown will get lower and lower because of uh, ultimate hunter stacks. And are those off unique champion kills? Uh, you need to go into Volibear's top side right now. Because there's four bottom. You see that? And he's okay. killing your teammates. Yep. Use your Q. Come on. I hope you're seeing how many uh, opportunities there are to speed this up. Absolutely, Q. yeah. Q. Um, I probably played Nocturne like four times in my life, so this yeah. is definitely new to me, but I appreciate it. Yeah, you're going to be rocking. Now go to the Golems. Get in the Golems pit. Okay, so go to your left and flank this guy. Uh, drop your Rift as well because you know he's dead. Just drop it. I just calmly walk it in and queue him. Okay, going back to the top. I'm not chasing that far. Yeah, go go uh, push the wave. You're you're letting your rift die. You're letting your rift die. I don't care that much about those. Okay. I think you should have pushed the wave and hit tower. Uh, this wave, yeah, yeah. The, okay. Right. You have ult soon. Okay, look down there. Camera down there. Fight's happening. I'm walking down and ulting Kaiza. Hover your ult. If you see him, spam R. Find him. Okay, Q, E, Q, E, W. Now, the only problem with that was that it was just the, the rotation of skills was goofy by you. Yeah, yeah. And I, would, I wouldn't I would R. I would just Q. I would Q, E, W, smite him. Save the R. I, the R should be used as... I mean, the R can be used as damage sometimes, but you don't really want to do that. You'd rather just kill that guy normally because it's a Leona. Just pound on her because yeah. she's a support. And then once you kill her, you can R to Kaiza because you knew she was low. So you knew what Kaiza happened? had like, yeah. For me, uh, I was literally just more focused on landing that R that I didn't realize I had already walked there on my screen. Mm -hmm. So I was like looking over here. Yeah, it's all I was good. in that fight. Yeah. Let's go to chickens. Okay. That's not chickens. So again, because your ult's on a lower cooldown, we're looking to ult more. Yep, Q the big, out of the big. I'm going to dragon next. Yep, ping on the way, sweet. Cast is gonna kill our Malphite, but we're getting dragon. <clears throat> no, I'm ulting Kai's. Oh, oh, never mind, she's dead. Way. Just Q. You don't even have to ult. Just Q E. That's good. That's good. You don't have to chase. It's just a support. It's not worth. Like you can kill her, but I'd rather just take the dragon first. Yeah, it's worth it. Hey, see, Zoe's chasing. She's gonna get herself killed being a dumbass. Now, after you clear this, you can look to ult because they're, uh, there's two dead. So move your camera up there. And I would not ult that. Yeah, I wouldn't have. I just take blue. The ult was wasted. Yeah. Don't, don't ult the steel kills. If it's dead, just let it be dead. Go to Gromp. Okay, check, uh, wolves and then grab bottom. Throw your Q over the wall so you don't have to check it. Okay, bottom. Mm. Why are we still walking on it? It's gone. That's how your brain should be. Like, just next thing, next thing, next thing. That was, that's the whole premise of flinging the queue over, is that you don't have to waste any more steps. I see if it does it, yeah. So, go ahead and queue. Auto, whip. Yep, auto, auto, auto. Sweet. We're going to push this all the way under. 
and get in the right bush here for speed. Um, Are you Q or E him? Yeah, I'm not afraid of him. Q E W. Now run, because he ulted. Just run away. You have a uh, stride breaker too. You run straight away. Why are you running crooked? Uh, just run backwards. Oh, uh, just weird. run down the lane. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's this is geometry struggle. Press B. Think about it. If you're playing shitty football. If you're running away from somebody, would you run diagonally away from them? Run straight <laughs> no. away from him. W. Stride breaker. Run straight away. There you go. Press B. He gave up. Now grab Maw and grab uh, Death Stance. The reason we built this item, we're going red first. The reason we built this item, this game, hold tab, is 3 AP. Mm -hmm. And normally Kai's has been doing a lot of AP builds, so should play pretty well into them. Bully Bear's about 30% magic damage, just FYI. Okay. Uh, camera to mid. Is fight happening? I want to know what's happening. Okay, I would ult cast it in. Yeah, I would ult cast it in like right now and just spam your buttons. You're very strong here. Use your whip. You picked the wrong target, but that's okay. Cassidy's the dude with the dress. Yeah. He wears the dress. Look at him. There you go. Wolves all the way up to Scuttle. Always target with your ult someone squishy. So not Leona, not uh Volley Bear. Cassidy's yeah. squishy, Timo, or Kaisa. Yeah. yeah. That's how you okay. should think. Any weak looking motherfucker, that's who you target. The cool baby. thing about League is one of the more reliable things is that most champions look exactly like their weakness, <laughs> right? Like, so it's not, it's like, if you just look at a champion, you're like, that person looks strong, probably don't ult them. It's a good way to start when you're new, you know? Makes sense, yeah. Instead, just when, when you're dealing with those types of champions, just poke at him with uh, Q, R, or whatever. So there, I would not R for Kaiza because I know she's coming. Yeah. Get your camera on it because you're going to go for your morgue. You should be ready to ult somebody. Turn your ult on now. Kaisa, go quickly. You misclicked. Uh, He's fine, though. Still good now go to Cassidy. Yeah, she, the, the Leon was squishy enough. You need your Q and your R to kill this guy. Q, or, I'm not R, your E. There you go. Now whip. Yeah. You got to just kind of use your red smite. There you go. Now run away. Run away. Don't fight him. He'll turn on you. Ooh, you're lucky. Yeah. Ooh. Use your Q on Grot. He's just bad. He could have R'd you and killed you. He had fully stacked R. So, fun fact. The reason you just lived... Go to your left for the plant there. The reason you just lived is because you have uh, Maw. That's what saves you there. The, the magic? Mm -hmm. Magic resist. Magic resist, yeah. Dragon. Uh, I would just hover. Oh, okay. Well, now I'm doing Ooh. dragon. Okay. Just shit on her. Now wait for your Q. Don't panic and fling at your Q at him. Just wait until he jumps on you, then Q, E, W, whip. Okay. Get to the left so it's harder for him to hit you. There you go. I just run away. You have all. You have all. Go farm while you watch. Like, yeah, farm while you watch. Okay. 3v1. Kai yeah, this. just now turn your ult on and wait. Turn your ult on and stress him out. Go on Kaisa, I think, or Timo. Timo's good. Q, everything. It's okay. That should work. You're trying to set them up. See? Nice. It's an alley oop for them. You also hit a big slow on all of them. Yep, Death Stance next. So this is why I have people play Nocturne is because I can tell your camera control still needs a lot of work. Because getting you to farm and juggle the two is really hard right now. Uh, yeah. Um, and that's why I picked this champion. It's not just that he's easy in terms of mechanics, but he forces you to have camera control to play him. Okay. There's no way around it. Like, you have to look with your ult. You know what I mean? You have to see. Yeah. It's the best champion for noobs. Go chickens and work your way towards... Actually, yeah, chickens. Work your way towards Baron. Ping them off because they're going to overstay and get wiped. Cast is going to kill them all. I promise you. Like, I've seen this a thousand times. Here it comes. <laughs> Ready? Win, win, <laughs> win. Look at that. I already fucking, I know. Now go to chickens and work your way up. Do my pings go through even though I have muted? Everyone muted? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's good to know. Grab a grump. That's the reason I have uh, people just f focus on pinging instead of typing. Because pings can't be misinterpreted as like, I mean, yeah, they could be yeah. misinterpreted. Go to chickens on their side.
I would steal their chickens and prepare to leave out the left side. This is a little risky, so kite to the left. We can't get caught. There you go. Cue and leave. That's good. You don't have to take every single one, bro. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right, grab, uh, get in this bush oh. and just chill. Kite's Press just B. chilling here. Yeah, I know. We can go for her if she pushes again. But we're getting death stance is why I'm backing. Okay. Death stance, pink, and then you're going stopwatch. Oh, grab a blue trinket, by the way. Blue trinket's OP. I'll show you why after. Yeah. yeah. Now go to I'll red. Grab a stopwatch. Oh, you can't yet. I don't have angled. Yeah. He's gonna take that. That's fine. Now assist ping bear in a bunch. Let's start getting vision. What the hell? That guy pushed way too deep. What a newbie. All right. So just hover your team. It's a 4v5, so we don't really want it. But if they make a pick, maybe we'll go. Relax. Sit back. Stop running at it. <laughs> just sit in a bush, bro. You're stressing me out. Hover okay. your old. <laughs> you're just trying to run at it and lose control of your champion. That's all you're trying to do. Yeah. Okay, old Kaisa. She just jumped on your MF. Kaisa, Absolutely. she's on your MF. Ah! Q, hurry. Are you going to kite back? Kite nice. back, kite back. You don't have to end. You're good. Now spam Q at them and chill. Sweet. Now follow Malphite. He's going in. Look at Malphite. Look at Malphite. Look at Malphite. Camera control is killing you right now, by the way. Yes. Don't don't go too close. You do have the maw passive though. So if Cassidy okay. jumps on you, you will get a shield that will save you. Assist ping Baron. They have to deal with this. Assist ping it a bunch. Put a pink ward on the Baron. Yeah, hit that plant and then we'll start this up. I go towards the Baron. The reason you're sitting in the bush and waiting is because uh, you don't want to just walk in there and die before it spawns. Just want to see if they come in yeah. or if they're there already. They have wards. Now Makes let's sense. go to mid. Now you shove mid and then veer towards top if they keep pushing out and you can just kill them. Okay. So shove mid. You're not done yet. See how they left? We're not dumb. You see that? Our team's yeah, just yeah. mindlessly chasing instead of pushing. We're not the dumb ones here. They are. Now you can move up towards tower for a second because you don't want to just hit tower alone. Yeah. See that volley bear? That's where my camera yeah. would go. Okay. Go. Yeah, just go ult him. Yep. Now you just push together. See? Smooth rotation. Mid shoved. And now you're grouped. I right? was able to go through and meet them, yeah. Yep. Now just calmly save your QE. If Kasten jumps on you, QE. I don't know why you're backing up. You're not afraid. You're huge. You have stopwatch. Why are you okay. standing so far back? You're massive. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Like you've got a huge wave, five people. Like that's the time to be cocky. Like get right in their face. You have stopwatch. Get in his face. Yeah, just Q. Just be annoying. There you go. Q, E. If you get low, you'll stopwatch it. It's no big deal. Yep. GG. GG. I guarantee you whatever you're doing was not as easy as that. <laughs> no, you're right. <laughs> so I'm going to share my screen real quick before we play a second game and just give you a quick rundown of some of the Nocturne stuff that you should know. So, I mean, Nocturne is simple. Like, he's, he's my go-to recommendation for a lot of reasons. The main reason is because um, he forces you to do this pattern where let's just pretend... Well, we'll spawn the camps. So you're farming... As you're farming, you're looking, fight breaks out. Oh, sorry, my computer dual monitor thing is bugging. One second. <laughs> Technically triple monitor. Okay, so like as you're farming, you see a fight breaking out. Just learn to let it go. And jump right in. Now, the key with this, this ult is very simple. While in flight, you can ult at any time. The thing is, though, it's best to just let him hit the target first and then oh, visualize where your opponent's going to go. I see. So again, let him hit the target first and then visualize where they're going to go. And that's where you throw the Q. OK, hey, I get. Come, is there an, att is an attack speed and move speed bonus or just move speed and a damage? Speed? Oh, damage. damage if okay. you hit the W, it's attack speed. That's it. Okay. So okay. if he, if you land, 
turn your W on, you're probably gonna block a spell and you're gonna get crazy attack speed. Okay, too She's easy. WB, basically. Yep. <laughs> I tell people just spam your fucking buttons when you land. So you land, <laughs> Q, spam your buttons. Like you're probably gonna be happy with the result. That's when you're learning Nocturne. Now, when you get better at it, you'll know when to save your spell shield and all that. Maybe it's a guy that's gonna delay it. Yeah. And then you okay. can add your stopwatch in as well. I'm gonna just buy Zonia's real quick. Yeah, so again, too easy. Practice doing this full rotation, the practice tool. The next thing, the reason why you go sweeper, say uh, you wanna ult somebody, right? But mm. as you ult them, you lose tar you lose sight of them for whatever reason. Maybe they just get in the fog of war or whatever. Yeah, blue ward, okay. That's why, that's why this is, blue. that's why it's there. I just want you to see that like, if someone disappears, Trinket range is the same as your alt range. Okay. Very important. Someone gets away, they don't actually get away. That's why that's there. Um, that's really it with him. Um, the other thing is obviously just, just remember that at the end of the day, it's about being aware. So just get used to Q, auto, look real quick, space bar, watch as you move. So like right click here, but watch. You know, okay. just keep your eye on it. Make sure there's nothing weird happening because you need to be responsive. Like you're facing a Kassadin as you're passing them, move like this through the tower. Have your ult. If you see Kassadin or Ari use like a charm or somebody jump in on your teammates, you got to be like a fucking instant reaction. So like you see him jump in, jump in. Boom. Yeah, that's what you're looking okay. for. The green lights. Right? Don't just say if it was a Cassidy and you jump in on him and he hasn't used an ability, he goes like this. And then you don't kill him. Yeah. Right? Not worth it's not worth. Uh, just one little bonus tip that a lot of people don't know, but I do, is you can just smite shit while in flight, which is hilarious. Oh, um, shit. So if you ever. I've stolen one <laughs> Baron like this. And it was hilarious. And it was total. It was The reason it even happened was because it, I, I want to, like. I want to show you what happened at some point what will happen in this game is like you'll see the objective but you can't see the champions i don't know why yeah. the hell i made the play but it was like that and i could see that they were like here but you see i can't see them yeah but i was standing out far and i was just like fuck it and i went like this and then smited <laughs> it That's and like dope. But you, I, I don't know if it, a lot of people know that that you can just like fly over it's very similar to uh zach Oh, he can do it in his jump. So he can like jump like this mm -hmm. and he can, can it. smite it. So yeah, it'd be, it'd be very similar to this type of vibe where I can't smite it because it ran away, but you get the idea. The main thing here though is, is just that, is understanding this is the framework for Nocturne. Last tip, and this one's a little bit more functional than the one I just showed you. Say you're on an objective and you know the enemy team's about to fight for it and you're doing one of these. Mm -hmm. Read that, six seconds, okay? That's a long time, look. Oh, to to blind them. So what a lot of Nocturne players do, and it pisses me off to no end because I don't know, I'm particular with this champion. The, the you know that the, the rift's about to get down to 2,500, 3K or whatever. So as you're doing it, once it gets low, just turn this on. Put pressure mm. on them to move in. If they come in, then you can simply just combo, right? If you needed to. And if they sit back and run away or whatever, then you're free to take this. Yeah. But you play a, a, I mean, the ability's called Paranoia. It's a mind game. <laughs> you force their hand, kind of. Yeah, it just makes things weird for them because they're used to being able to see. And, you know, when the screen goes black, it's a totally different game for them. Mm -hmm. So now one guy's going to jump in, one guy's going to run away, one guy's going to go over here. It's not the same. Um, but if you just stand there and let them see you doing everything, yeah, they're going to beat you. Uh, just important notes. That's all I have. Go ahead and queue up. I said, no, you sound pretty stupid. <laughs>